but what does this mean for the entire country? Like the, the, the United States that we're living in right now is very intense times. Mm -hmm. um, us as a culture, I know we make jokes in light of very si serious situations. So you see the memes flying, you see the jokes flying, which is hilarious work. But it is very dangerous times um, when sat when presidents or or, uh, or anybody or leadership assassination attempts are happening anywhere in the world. You're looking at a very serious matter. You're like two inches away from a, a real civil war, yeah. real chaos in the streets. If that if that was to actually go down, um, it's a powder keg. We sitting on a powder keg, man. And I do I do think because there's some people out there saying it's staged. Uh, it depends on how you you look at what staged is. I do believe, because people say, oh, he really got shot and people really died. Yeah, in staged events, people do die. Like 9-11 was, was also, in, in hindsight, 2020. You can do all your con conspiracy theories, not even a thing no more. It's, it's facts that a lot of that was set up. So even in staged situations, there are casualties. Um, I don't think any of that happened. I don't think the, the United States government is that incompetent where that guy is that close getting off those type of shots. I think everything is to a certain extent is by design. And I don't know, I don't want to get too full fledged into conspiracies, but um, I'm not ruling out the whole stage thing because to a certain extent, um, everybody don't go to dress rehearsal. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So like, yeah, it's staged, but who's a part of the, the, the play and the act, you know? 